Hey, what is up guys and thanks for tuning into this video which is going to be about me showing you some before and after results of guys who were using topical finasteride liposomal gel for at least 6 to 12 months. And after watching this video you will much better know the pros and cons of such liposomal topical finasteride solution and find out whether it is really that special. So let's start. This video has been brought to you by GoFiber. Enter your pictures and win a one year supply of GoFiber. It's easy to enter. Order a free sample, take a clear before and after pictures and send them to selfie at gofiber.com. Hey, welcome back everybody. My name is Matt and you are watching my hair loss and hair transplant related channel. So if you are new, feel free to subscribe. And now let's start with the topic of today's video. But before we jump right into me showing you the before and after results, let me show you how this topical finasteride liposomal gel kind of differs from the usual hydroalcoholic uh, topical finasteride solutions which many of you have probably already tried and they're much more available online and also uh, by pharmacies worldwide. So uh, this one, a liposomal one, it doesn't contain any alcohol, it also does not contain any penetration enhancers like for example glycerine or uh, propylene glycol okay it doesn't have any of that uh, because it has liposomes liposomes are very very small lipid vesicles and they could be also considered nanoparticles because they can be as small as 171 to 999 nanometers you can imagine them as capsules very very tiny capsules that are carrying the active ingredient in them and they're kind of promoting a more sustainable delivery of this active ingredient and permeation into the skin. And that's pretty much also the reason why some pharmacies and physicians in the hair loss industry started incorporating liposomes by developing different hair loss treatments like for example topical finasteride, okay? It's all about the sustainable delivery, it's all about uh, kind of preserving this active ingredient which is finasteride only in the first layer of their of the skin and kind of prohibiting the deeper penetration into the system and avoiding this systemic absorption that way so that was the goal behind developing this liposomal finasteride gel but let's take a better look at the pros and cons of this gel and uh, decide whether it is really the case this uh, liposomal gel uh, is able to give a more sustainable uh, delivery or more sustainable permeation of uh, finasteride into the skin uh, because of these liposomes uh, themselves. And also it's gonna keep the active ingredient in the first layer of the skin where the hair follicle sits. Uh, some physicians actually prescribe uh, this topical finasteride liposomal gel only every other day because of uh, the penetration is very sustainable and if the patient doesn't wash his hair every day uh, he may as well use it only uh, every other day. If the patient wants to wash his hair every day then you have to use it every day as well because then you're just gonna wash it out and it's not gonna be sustainable delivery the other day. Another advantage of the liposomal finasteride gel that's something uh, I can confirm as well since I've been using it for six months is that the application it's very comfortable okay because it gets absorbed by your skin very very fast without greasing or smearing the hair okay of course you don't apply it on the hair you apply it on the skin always and you want to make sure that the skin is uh, dry before you apply it okay now another advantage would be that it does not contain any propylene glycol any alcohol or any uh, substances that could cause allergic reactions to some guys and I know it uh, from guys who use minoxidil and they usually complain about either alcohol or propylene glycol that's why there is also a version of minoxidil without propylene glycol as well as uh, different versions of topical finasteride uh, which are available on the market that are hydroalcoholic and they uh, don't have propylene glycol in them so this is something that uh, tends to irritate skin of some guys this however does not have alcohol it does not have any penetrating agents like glycerin or uh, propylene glycol so that's also the advantage of this gel 
Of course, another advantage would be uh, that it actually works and we will be looking at some uh, before and after results uh, very soon. But first, let me mention also some um, disadvantages of this gel. The biggest disadvantage of these liposomal solutions uh, that I consider is their very high concentration of finasteride per one milliliter of liquid because if you're buying a usual uh, hydroalcoholic solution which is like 0.1 percent for example that means it has one milligram of finasteride equivalent in one milliliter of liquid in this solution however you have it's 2.5 percent that means that you have 25 milligram of finasteride equivalent in one milliliter of liquid of this gel so that's a really high concentration and then it's questionable whether there is really no systemic absorption unfortunately there is no such study that would entirely exclude that systemic absorption and second there is actually uh, some research that there is a limited absorption so what does that mean? I don't know. But even if there is a limited absorption from a 25 milligram equivalent, uh, and even if it's like 5%, it's still going to be like a fairly high amount of finasteride equivalent that it's going to be absorbed uh, via this uh, topical uh, gel. Okay, so that's something that you should probably know about and consider before you decide to use it. I used it for six months without... Uh, any side effect uh, whatsoever, but I just uh, want you to know that. Another disadvantage would be its price. Uh, this one cost me 45 euro. I think the price is between 45 to 50 euro per monthly supply. That's 30 milliliter bottle. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's much higher compared to different hydroalcoholic topical finasteride solutions, or if you even maybe try to mix your own solution at home you just buy alcohol propylene glycol you mix it up you crush the the propecia tablets or you just crush the propecia tablets and mix them with minoxidil it's going to be much cheaper so the price of course is a disadvantage and also if you need to use more of this which is more likely the case if you are diffusely thinning you are like norwood four or five thinning diffusely i mean you want you will probably need much more than one milliliter of it maybe like two maybe even two three milliliters and then it's a very high hard not to overdose this okay and uh, if you use more then you basically overdosing already so that's um kind of a limitation of this solution as well because if you are using a hydroalcoholic solution uh, you can just take one milliliter of this hydroalcoholic solution and mix it with uh, let's say two more milliliters of stemoxidine and get like three milliliters of solution overall uh, which will have the correct um, concentration so this is much better or easier to do with a hydroalcoholic topical finasteride as opposed to this. It also has a pretty short shelf life of about six months, so it cannot be like distributed online and it has to be compounded like on uh, order. You know, you get a pre you need to get a prescription from a doctor who is uh, cooperating with a pharmacy compounding that uh, because again, the shelf life is only six months. Uh, so you have to only order for either like th three months supply, ideally six months supply. So you will order it and use it uh, right way because if you order way too much then it's gonna get past the shelf life and you cannot use it anymore because again also these liposomes they don't seem to be as stable long term so you gotta use them you know as soon as possible all right guys now let's take a look at the before and after results i was able to find on the belly capelli forum and let's start with the best one the best one is a patient uh from Dr. Hassan and that's how he looked like before uh, the topical finasteride liposomal gel treatment. Uh, it was a 2.5% two per, 2 solution. You can see uh, he's in uh, not entirely the early stage of diffused hair loss. Uh, it's already like um, already slight to moderate diffuse thinning on his uh, scalp and that's a uh, six-month result. 
which you can see here. You can see how the diffusely thinning pattern is kind of closing, it's narrowing uh, a little bit. And then here he is again after one year. Uh, it looks pretty good. He cut his hair short, so that's not exactly the same hair length that we have seen like at the baseline. But I think uh, nonetheless, it still look pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. I mean, uh, I like it. Uh, that's why I started with this result. It's probably the best result what you will see uh, as far as the before and afters that I'm about to present you. I don't think every patient will respond like that. I think the best respondents will be the guys in the early stage of their hair loss, be it the diffuse hair loss or just some uh, hairline recession. Uh, these are going to be the best respondents. Let's take a look at some crown area because I'm sure some of you guys are very interested in how it works on the crown. So here is one patient uh, who used it only on the crown. It was also the 2.5% solution and you can see that the hair regrowth, uh, although it may appear as it, it's like good for some of you, I don't think it's as good because you can see that on the before photo there is also a different lighting. You know, it's uh, kind Kind of uh, it's flashed a little bit more and you can see it on this uh, kind of uh, on the middle part of the crown. It's just obvious that there is something shining on top of the head which makes it look more bald than it really is. And then if you take a look at the after result after six months by the way, you can see there is maybe slight improvement but if we just observe the central part of the crown there is no uh, improvement whatsoever in my opinion. Maybe here like around we can see some hair thickening. But again be aware it's only six month mark. It's not the full result. Unfortunately, I haven't found his uh, later post, so that's uh, that was his uh, first and last post. So I cannot tell you whether it worked for him better or not. Another result, which is similar to the very first patient, uh, we also see a patient with curly hair with diffused hair loss. The patient also used topical finasteride liposomal gel. 2.5% for six months, and you can see uh, that it worked in a similar way as by the first patient. So again, if you use it, uh, you are diffuse thinner in your early stage or maybe uh, frontal hairline recession in the early stages, it's gonna work nicely. This patient uh, who already had like uh, pretty much like advanced balding on the vertex and mid scalp. I mean, he had some hair there, but it was very weak and the balding pattern is uh, pretty pronounced already. And I was hoping that he's going to regrow that, but no, no chance. And you can see it here. Basically, I think this is the nine month result uh, on topical finasteride liposomal gel 2 0.5% and you can just see that the hair around the balding area just kind of got thicker and also longer but the this exactly the, the the zone in the middle where it was completely bald there is I mean no chance that you can like regrow that or improve the thickness of that so again it only works as long as you have some hair on the uh, area that you want to treat with this uh, topical finasteride liposomal gel or really any other treatment like minoxidil, you, th there has to be some hair uh, to begin with. So these were basically the results that I was able to find on forums uh, of guys who started using this um, exact uh, liposomal topical finasteride gel 2.5% that I've been using myself for six months. And if I should add uh, my results, I think you can see them uh, right here. I'm going to try to blend them here because I also made my uh, update on topical finasteride. From my experience, I felt like it stopped my hair loss. It stopped the shedding, but it did not really make my diffusely thinning hair much thicker. I actually expected more from that uh, uh, by the six month mark. Probably I wasn't as good of a respondent as the first patient I was showing you in uh, in here. But again, uh, I switched to oral finasteride after six months. Uh, so I'm basically getting more and more benefits from finasteride uh, right now because I'm close to the 10th month mark. And I feel like the hair thickness improved uh, 
noticeably, but it's also not super crazy. But I feel that uh, when I just uh, style my hair or even comb my hair. So the, the thickness improvement on my diffusely thinning hair is noticeable after the 10th month. Uh, I'm curious how it's going to be maybe in a half a year from now, whether the improvements are going to be better or not. I'm currently on 0.6 or 0.5 milligram of oral finasteride. I switched to oral finasteride because it was easier to use for me. It was less expensive and uh, considering all the pros and cons of oral finasteride and topical finasteride, I figured that not only oral finasteride is not as uh, likely to give me side effects if I use Use lower dose and if my hormones are in balance to begin with which my uh, hormones were and that's why I uh, decided uh, to switch to oral of course this is not a medical advice this is just uh, how I decided based on my um, uh, on, on myself okay and I think everybody should do this research uh, for himself okay guys so uh, that was pretty much it for this video uh, if you are if you enjoyed this make sure you like it make sure you comment below uh, if you have used uh, this solution especially I'm gonna be very curious in how your results were and I'm sure many of you guys watching as well uh, so you can maybe better decide whether to really give it a try or not whether to just stick with oral finasteride whether it's uh, better to go with some hydroalcoholic solution as I showed in the episode number three of this series, where I was uh, preparing like a custom uh, hydroalcoholic topical finasteride version uh, out of alcohol distilled water, and we had propylene glycol and just crushing some Propecia pills, Proscar pills, sorry, and preparing my own um, hydroalcoholic solution in a much more like uh, less pricey way. Okay, so uh, let us know, let us know your experience, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching again and we'll see you in another video. Take care.